Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing from Tumulematics. And our topic for today is gradient and equation of a straight line. And our subtopic is perpendicular lines. So we are going to see what perpendicular lines are and how are we able to identify certain lines are perpendicular in nature. So perpendicular lines are lines whose gradient, if you multiply their gradients, you get an equal of negative one. So if you take the gradients of each line and multiply them, you get negative one. So you see like the lines that have been shown uh, below are perpendicular, they are not parallel, they are perpendicular. And you look, you, you notice that the angle they form with each other is like 90 degrees Celsius. Although they might seem like inverted, but they actually form a 90 degrees uh, with each other. So how are we able to get like two lines are perpendicular if you are given two equations of two lines? So what you are going to do, you are going to get the gradients of the two lines. And then we multiply these two lines, the two, two gradients. If we get negative one, that tells us that these two lines are perpendicular. So let's do that. So the first equation is y is equals to a half, a third, x plus one. So this is in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. We said m forms the gradient. So this tells us the first gradient is a third. So the first line. So the second line is y is equals to negative 3x minus 2. This also forms the y is equals to mx equation plus c. So our m in this case is negative 3. So the equation for the first line is a half. The gradient of the first line is a third and the gradient for the second line is negative 3. So let's multiply these two gradients together. So a third times negative 3 gives you negative 3 divided by 3, which is the same as minus 1. This, this tells you that these two lines are actually perpendicular. Let's do another example. So determine which of the following pairs of lines are perpendicular. Now we have two other lines. So y is equal to 2x plus 7. So the first equation, y is equal to 2x plus 7 so the gradient of this line is 2 is 2 because remember we said this forms the m and then y is equals to negative 2x plus 5 the gradient is negative 2 if we multiply these two gradients 2 times negative 2 we form negative 4 which is not the same as negative 1 so these two lines are not perpendicular. Let's do one more. So we have these two equations. You see our equations have always been written in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. If you get two equations and they are not in this form, always change them so that you can get the gradients easily. So the first equation, which is y is equal to minus 3 over 4 x minus 2. The gradient is negative 3 over 4. The second equation y is equal to negative 4 over 3x plus 5. The gradient is negative 4 over 3. So if we take these two gradients and multiply them together, so negative 3 over 4 times negative 4 over 3. This gives us 3 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1. So it's basically negative 1 times negative 1, which gives us 1. So neg 1 is not equal to negative 1. So these two equations are not perpendicular in nature. So another way you can be asked the question is now when you are given the equation of one of the lines, you've been told you have two lines which are perpendicular. So one of the line has the equation y minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. And then for the other line, we are only given one point. We are supposed to look for the equation of this second line. And we know for us to get the equation of this second line, we need one point and we need a gradient. And we can be able to get the gradient of the same line 
of the second line if we compare to the gradient of the first line by multiplying it to get negative 1. So let me show you what I mean. So when you look at the first equation y minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0, we make our equation in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So this means that we will take positive 3 this side to form y minus 5x is equal to minus 3. And then we also take the minus 5 this side to form y is equal to 5x minus 3. So this equation now is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So the value of m we have is 5. So if we take the gradient of this line as 5 and the gradient of the line 2 as x, which we do not know, if we take 5 times x, we are supposed to get negative 1. So for us to be able to get the value of x is the same as 5x is equal to negative 1. We divide by 5, we divide by 5, we get the value of x is equal to negative 1 over 5. So you see how we were able to use now the gradient of one line to get the gradient of another line. So now we have the gradient of the second line and a point. So we use that to form the equation. So 3, 2, and then the other point will be x, y. We have the gradient, which is a fifth. So this is going to be our x1. This is going to be our y1. This is x2. This is y2. So this is going to be y minus 2 over x minus 3, which is equal to our gradient, which is minus 1 over 5. So if we cross multiply, we are going to get 5 into bracket y minus 2 is equal to negative 1 into bracket x minus 3. So this forms 5y minus 10 is equal to negative x plus, because negative times negative forms plus 3. So we bring this negative 10, this side, it becomes positive. So we have 5y is equal to minus x plus 3, plus 10. So 5y is equal to minus x plus 13. We can leave our equation in this form, or we have it in y is equal to mx plus c by dividing by 5 everywhere. So that our answer is supposed to be y is equal to a fifth plus 13 over 5, which forms the equation. So let's do one more question on the same, and then we'll be done with the session. So y is equal to x minus 7x, and then we have been, this is the equation of the first line. The second line has only two points. So in the same manner we did the previous question, we have y is equal to 8 minus 7x. We can make it in the form of y is equal to mx plus c. This is y is equal to minus 7x plus 8, the same. So our m is negative 7, or our gradient is negative 7. So if we take negative 7, we multiply with the gradient of the second line, we can call it g. We are going to get negative 1. So this is the same as negative 7, g is equal to negative 1. We divide by negative 7 both sides to get the gradient for the second line to be 1 over 7. So the second line, we have only been given one point, which is negative 3 and negative 4. So we will introduce another point, which is x and y. And now we have the gradient, which is 1 over 7. So this is going to be y minus minus 4 over x minus minus 3 is equal to 1 over 7. So this is the same as y plus 4 over x plus 3 is equal to 1 over 7. You cross multiply and you get 7 into bracket y plus 4 over 1 is equal to 1x plus 3. So if you open the bracket, it will be 7y plus 7 times 4 gives us 28. So 28 is equal to x plus 3. 
So we, it becomes 7y. We take 20 this side. It's equals to x plus 3 minus 28. So 7y is equals to x plus 3 minus 28 leaves us with minus 25. We divide by 7 all the sides. We get y is equals to 1 over 7x minus 25 over 7. And this is our equation for the line. So that brings us to the end. You can check out more revision questions uh, in the app and the notes so that you can be able to understand. Most of the cases when it comes to this mathematical concept, you may need to apply what you'd learned in different questions. So use the same concept to apply it in the questions that you're going to get in the app. So see you in the next lesson.